Hey guys, how are you? Audio head here. Today we have the Cypher Labs Algorithm Solo DB. This is a portable DAC that is the next generation for the original Algorithm Solo. This time around, we have balanced outputs in addition to the ability to connect to a computer, not just an Apple iDevice. For those of you who are not familiar, Cypher Labs originally had made a solo uh, with that connected exclusively to iDevices and really was one of the very few DACs out there that would let you take a digital direct signal from an iDevice into the DAC. The DAC would then take the information, transform it, transform it into an analog signal for you. Pretty good a high quality signal and output it then to your amplifier. So this was not a DAC amp combo for headphones, but rather just an exclusive DAC. So really the first kind of step for component separates in a portable setup. It was one of the very few. There's only one or two others I think that did that. This being the second generation, they decided to up the ante with even more kind of a stereo uh, component feel to it with balanced outputs uh, via the mini four pin balance jack. This DAC is compatible with roughly only two other uh, amp headphone amplifiers in that configuration, be it a balanced configuration. Race Samuels has uh, a couple of amplifiers that are compatible with the four pin balanced output in that configuration, as well as the one that this was designed to kind of meet stylistically amplifiers put out by ALO Audio. Uh, the ARX MK3B especially matches this in style and in texture, and they're roughly the same size. So they pair well with. Uh, elastic rubber bands to those so if you want to kind of have an audiophile sandwich to take with you when you go that's really kind of how they're set up to be you wrap them together in these silicone bands um, they fit quite nicely together now through the single ended output you can obviously pair this with any amp you desire uh, it it works extremely well there's a very cool LED on the front I found the texture and the build on this to be remarkably great. Something that you would expect from a portable device, something that you would you know, pick up, move around. Heaven forbid you drop it on the ground, but for all intents and purposes, a very, very solid build like you would, you would expect from something that you're going to be mobile. It also includes a coaxial output digital, so it can just um, be a USB converter to a digital signal, so it does include in a coaxial output. I tested that as well. Very good output there. I didn't see like any major deterioration in the signal from the analog output to the coaxial, so good stuff on that front as well. Um, the input is mostly a, a mini USB jack, but this particular package does come with a USB cable to the 30 pin Apple so it is sticking true to its roots where you can plug an iDevice into this and just hit the streets. Uh, the, I tested the both the USB and the Apple inputs uh, from my computer and it was very pleased with the results. I found the sound to be Ex pretty exceptional for the price point. Um, this does retail for around $700, so it is quite an expensive unit as far as um, portable devices go. I mean, $700 for DAC isn't um, just a drop in the bucket. However, it, I found it did perform quite closely to its price point. Uh, some of the high points for me especially were in the high frequencies. I saw a lot more extended highs than some of the other DACs um, in the lower price ranges and even even DACs around the same price range. I saw a great high-end energy from this one particularly. Greater detail in the high-end. Um, symbols sounded more realistic uh, and also the mid-range was just a little more liquid. Uh, these are all very small changes, mind you. This is not, these are not major dramatic swings in quality. Um, with DAX, the, the quality change is sometimes harder to hear than with a pair of headphones, for instance. But uh, when it does come to DAX, this one does perform quite well for its price point. This DAC does not charge through the USB port that connects to your computer. Rather, it charges from the wall wart that is supplied with it. I also found that this unit did not, while it does work with Apple devices, it did not work 
with my Samsung Galaxy 3 phone. So those of you looking for that, you might have to um, look elsewhere for that type of connectivity. But overall, I really, really was pleased with this unit. It's performance right on par with what you would expect in that range. It, very, very competitive quality for the price point, which is saying something because it is quite an expensive DAC. Uh, one of the very few ones that connects with Apple, one of the very few solid portable DACs out there in general, and one of the very few that offers balanced output portable connectivity. So all those things wrapped into one make this a very special unit. See, I did enjoy it a lot. Let me know if you guys have any questions regarding it. If you get a chance, please follow the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.